Ya es básico. Praise the living God, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We bless his holy name. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be worshipped. We still be worthy to be magnified. And on that Sunday of the year, we bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior. We thank God for keeping us alive. We bless his holy name. He's so good. He's so kind to us. We thank God for God. This is virtual so many Christ ministry. Now I said, this is our Sunday service. May the Lord bless you for joining. May the Lord bless you for tuning in. Uh, the blessings on the blessing Father God has for us today, none of us will miss it. We all, each and every one of us will receive our blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah to the love of God. We bless the name Amen. of the Lord. Uh, we like to have a, a short um, Shall so pray? May the Lord bless you. Shall we pray? Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of glory, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be magnified. Father, we are grateful. We are thankful, Lord, for your journey, for your bringing us together, Father. We thank you for all the battle that you will be, be fighting for us. We thank you for the wonders you find. And at this service, the service, service right now, taking place right now, Father, take perfect control. Everything that will be done here in this service today, Father, let it bring to you glory to your holy name in Jesus' name. Father, as we come in your presence, please, at the Almighty God, Please don't let us go empty-handed. Fill all each and every one of us with your blessings in Jesus' name. Thank you, Valasin Rejima. Come and have your way in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Amen. Thank God for God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Valasin Father. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting in love for you, Lord. Vandanga, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting in love for you, Lord. Vandanga, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting in love for you, Lord. Father God, we declare that we love you. We declare the everlasting in love for you, Lord. Forever, oh Lord. For oh, your word is set in heaven. It is set to heaven forever. Oh Lord, for your word is set to in heaven, it is set to in heaven forever. Oh Lord, for your word is set to in heaven, it is set to in heaven forever. Oh Lord, for your word is set to in heaven, it is set to in heaven. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless his holy name. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy to be magnified. So praise Master Jesus. Right now we are going to right now start our service. Enter our service by the grace of God. So I we call upon the woman of God for the for the opening prayer. Praise, praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, amen. I welcome the woman of God, Evangelist Jan, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise in the Lord. Can you hear me please? Yes, yes. Okay. Praise the Lord, brethren. We thank God for today. Another day that our Father, our Maker, our Redeemer, the reason of our strength has made for us to be glad and rejoice in it. We really thank God. We thank God so much for this wonderful day. Greeting, brethren online, we thank you if you are already here. Those that are still getting ready to come, we also thank God for your life in the name of Jesus. We exalt the name of the Lord. Before we start, let me give go for prayer, a word of prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah, King of glory, I glorify your holy name. 
I worship you, Lord. I give you praise. You are mighty. You are faithful. You are a glorious God. There is no God like you. There is no God by you. You are so mighty. You are so faithful. You are so glorious. Who can be like you, Lord? Who is compared unto you? You are the wonderful God. You are the faithful God. Thank you, Jehovah, for another day. Blessed be that holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us quickly read the book, the Bible in the book of Psalm chapter 150. Psalms chapter 150. Uh, hallelujah, I read. Say, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the phenomenon of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalm tree and harp. Praise him with the timbre and dance. Praise him with string, instrument, and organ. Praise him, open the loud cymbal. Praise him, open the high sounding cymbal. Let everything that had breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you know that you have breath, then wear your praising shoe. Let us go ahead and praise the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everybody testify that you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody says that you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody, everybody testify you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are so good. Everybody says that you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody testified you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody says that you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. You are so good, you are so good, Baba. King of glory, you are so good. Jehovah Nisi, our redeemer. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. When you need Baba, we call upon your name. Oh, you hear and you answer also, Jehovah Jareh. Oh, my maker, you are so good. You are good, Jehovah, you are, oh, everybody, everybody testify that you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody says that you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody testifies that you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are so good. Everybody says that you are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good, everybody. Everybody testifies that you are good. Jehovah Jare, you are so good. Alpha and Omega, you are so good. Jehovah Jireh, you are good. Everybody testify that you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody says that you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Oh Lord, we are very, very thankful for all you have done for us. Oh Lord, we are very, very thankful. Who oh, can say thank you, Jesus? Oh Lord, we are very, very thankful for all you have done for us. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful. We can say thank you, Jesus. We have a Father that will never, ever fail us. We have a Father that will never, ever fail us. Jehovah Jireh, we never, ever fail at all. King of glory, never ever fail. We have a father that will never ever fail us. We have a father that will never ever fail us. Jehovah Jireh, he never ever fail at all. 
King of glory, never ever fail. Jehovah Nisi, you never ever fail us. And for a new maker, you never ever fail us. The rock of ages, you never ever fail at all. King of glory, never ever fail. Uh -huh. We have a father that will never ever fail us. We have a father that will never ever fail us. Jesus is a father that will never ever fail us. Rock of ages, never ever fail. Oh my God, you are good. 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 Oh my God, you are you are good for us. You are good. You are good for us. You are good. You are good for me. You are good. He's good for you. Yeah. Oh my God, you are good. Oh my God, you are good. Oh my God, you are good. Oh my God, you are the rock of ages. You are good. The King of Glory. You are good. Mighty man in battle. You are good. The rock of ages. You are good. You are Adonai. You are good. You are the rock of you are good. The king of kings, you are good. Lion of Judah, you are good. Shaking our glory, you are good. Oh my God. Hey, my God. Hey, my God. Lord, you are good for me. Lord, you are good for us. Lord, you are good for us. And because you are our God, Father, we worship you. You are good. Hey, my God, 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 yes, Lord, you are good for me. Oh, you are good for us. Oh, you are good for us. You are the mighty God. Father, you are faithful. You are the glorious God. You are good. The mighty king, you are good. Lion of Judah, you are good. Oh, my God, 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 you are good. Come and join us, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done it well. Come and join us, sing hallelujah. The rock of ages has done it well. Yes, come and join us. Come and join us, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jehovah Jireh has done it well. Come and join us, sing hallelujah. The king of glory have done it well. Oh, come and join us, sing hallelujah. The rock of ages has done it well. Oh, the Alpha and Omega has done it well. Oh, the king of glory has done it well. Oh, come and join us. Come and join us, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, the rock of ages has done it well. Come and join us, come and join us, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, the king of glory has done it well. I worship his name higher. Yes, I will lift up his name higher. Hey, Jehovah, Alpha and Omega. I will lift up his name, Aya. Ah, yeah. We will lift up his name, eh? Aya. Ah, yeah. We will lift up his name, Aya. Ah, yeah. Eh, Jehovah, Alpha and Omega. We will lift up his name, Aya. Ah, yeah. Eh, Jehovah, Alpha and Omega. We will lift up his name. I am only you, only you, eh? only you are God, only you, only you, eh? only you are God, only you, only you, eh? only you are God, only you, only you, eh? Only you are God. Jehovah Jare is only you. Eh? Only you are God. Rock of ages is only you. Eh? Only you are God. Mighty man 
in battle is all of you. All of you are God. Prince of peace is all of you. Hallelujah. You alone are God. Father, all of you. All of you are. All of you are God. All of you. All of you. All of you are God. All of you. All of you are. All of you are God. All of you, all of you, eh, all of you are God. Rock of ages, that you be God, eh. All of you are God. Mighty man in battle, I worship you. All of you are God. God of Abraham, I lay you, eh. All of you are God. God of Jacob, I praise your name. All of you like. Ah, the God of Isaac, I lift you up. All of you are God. Mighty man in battle, I give you praise. All of you are Eh, hey, Baba, hey, we bound for you. For all of you be God. Jehovah Jireh, we bound for you. Hey. All of you are God. All of you, all of you, hey. all of you are God. All of you, all of you, eh, all of you are God, Lord. All of you, all of you, eh, all of you are God. All of you, all of you, eh, all of you are God. Father, you need nobody to be God, eh. Yes, all of you be God. You need no one to be God. All of you are God. I want to live right now. You be God. Eh? All of you be God. Our worship, our clean and you be God. Eh? All of you are God. Baba, who will worship you forevermore. Eh? All of you be God. Baba, who praise your name forevermore. Eh? All of you, Lord, Lord, all of you, now you eh, eh, all of you be God, all of you, now all of you eh, eh, all of you be God, all of you, now all of you eh, eh, all of you be God, all of you, all of you eh, eh, all of you be God, you cannot lie. For us, you cannot lie. For us, Lion of Judah, you cannot lie. For us, you cannot lie. For us, you cannot lie to your children. King of glory, you never lie. To us, oh Lord, you cannot lie for us. You cannot lie for us. Mighty man in battle, you cannot lie. That day, you never lie for us. Father, you never lie for us. You are Jehovah Jireh, you will not lie for us. Daddy, you cannot lie for us. You cannot lie for us. Lion of Judah, you cannot lie for us. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He cannot lie for us. He will never lie for us. Our God is not a liar. Whatever he said he will do, he will do it. He do what he said he will do and he's he, he said what he has done. We glorify his holy name. He is the mighty God. Let us lift up our, our voice. Let us lift up our voice and proclaim his holiness. Proclaim his majesty. Lift up his name higher. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray. My Father, my God, Jehovah, King of Lord, Lord of Lord and mighty man in battle. Father, we lift up your name higher. We lift up your name higher. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Because of who you 
you are. We worship you, mighty King. Because of you are, because you are great, because you are mighty, because you are faithful, because you are glorious God. Father, I lift up your name. Lord, I lift up your name. I worship you, Lord, for the beauty of your splendor. I worship you, Lord, for the I worship you, because you are God. I worship you, my King, my Lord, my King. Father, God, that you are everything we God. You are everything we God, Lord. We bless you. We bless your name. We bless your name. It is your name higher. Because of the child, you are the mighty redeemer. In your name, the mighty name will pray. The Lord will give you the name of your name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to go before the throne of grace and mercy. He said in his word that if we seek him, he will hear us. We are going to go before the throne of grace and mercy. He said in his word that if we say we have not seen, then we are making our we we are making him a liar, and there is no truth in us. But he also said that. But if we are faithful to repent, to confess our sin, he will also be faithful to clean us from all unrighteousness. Let us go before him and ask him for mercy for any sin we may have committed, consciously or unconsciously, knowingly and unknowingly. Let us ask God for mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, King of Glory and Rock of Ages. We ask you, mighty Father. We ask you for mercy. We come before you, Lord. To To cry for mercy for you, Lord. Father, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us, O mighty Redeemer. Have mercy on us, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, Father. Have mercy. Forgive us all our sins. No sin we have committed consciously. No sin we have committed unconsciously. Father, forgive us. No sin we have committed knowingly. The one we have committed unknowingly. Lord, forgive us. Father, forgive us. Lord, forgive us. Clean us. O oh Lord, from all unrighteousness, clean us, Almighty Father, from all unrighteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus, wash and purify us, O oh Lord. Wash and purify us, O oh Lord. Wash and purify us, O oh Lord. Clean us, my Father and my God. Clean us, my Rock and my King. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there is no God like You. There is no God like You. Father, clean and purify us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we lift up Your name higher. Thank You, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeah. Hallelujah. We are going to where to pray. We are going to call upon the blood of Jesus. We use the blood of Jesus to clean ourselves from all filthiness, the filthiness of the spirit, the filthiness of the flesh. Let the blood of Jesus clean up deeply. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, that we call upon the blood of Jesus. We call upon the blood of Jesus, the precious blood of Jesus. Father, let the blood of Jesus clean us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. In the mighty In the name of Jesus, wash and purify us, Lord, with the blood of Jesus. Wash and purify us with the blood of Jesus. Cleanse our garment of salvation with the precious blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, Rock of Ages. Thank you, mighty man in battle. Let the power in the blood of Jesus, the sanctified power in the blood of Jesus, sanctify us. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to welcome the Holy Spirit. We cannot do on our own. The Bible tells us in the book of Ezekiel, chapter thirty-six, verse twenty-seven. It says, "I will feed my spirit within you, and my spirit will teach you to do my commandment and keep them." We are going to welcome the Holy Spirit, so that the Holy Spirit will come and fill us and teach us how to walk according to God's way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. And Father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we call upon the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord. We call upon the Holy Spirit, my Lord and my King. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sweet Holy Spirit, come and take control. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Holy Spirit, come and take control. In the mighty name of Jesus, come and have your way. In the name of Jesus, you are our senior partner. You are our teacher. You are our director. Have your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration because of who you are. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us now cover ourselves with all the armor of God, all the armor of God from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah King of Glory, we cover ourselves with all the armor of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we cover ourselves with all the armor of God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we soak ourselves into the blood of Jesus Christ. We soak ourselves into the blood of Jesus. 
Jesus, the precious blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Nazareth, Father, Lord God, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, in the name of Jesus, we cover our children, Lord, our grandchildren, Father, Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be thy holy name, Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 15 said, He said, They will surely gather together, but it is not by me. He said, Whosoever will gather against you shall fall for your sake. We are going to take authority over the power that gather. We stand on this scripture, we take authority over the power gathering against the children of God, gathering against this ministry in particular, wherever they are gathered gathering, being it in the air, the land, or the sea. As they gather, we are going to declare that as they gather, let them scatter. Let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Father my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, don't let authority, O oh Lord, over any power of darkness, any power of darkness, Father, where they are, Father, fighting, O oh Lord God Almighty, fighting our calling, fighting all the children of God, fighting their salvation, fighting the ministry of the ministry and the minister of God, Father, Lord, we take authority over them, Father, wherever they are, my Father, my God, Lord God Almighty, we command, O oh Lord God Almighty, we command them to be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let any plan, any evil plan they have against us, that let it be nullified, let it be nullified, Lord, let it be nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. We cancel all the plan of the enemy, O oh Lord, we destroy all the plan of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have your way. Oh, mighty Father, have your way, O oh King of Glory. You are so mighty and faithful. We give you all the praise. Except be the holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to commit all the activity that will happen in this ministry today. In this meeting today, we commit everything to God. Let us ask God to take control of the praise and the worship, the testimony, the Bible reading in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray, Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we commit all the activity, everything that will happen. Father, yeah, God Almighty, in this meeting today, we commit them to you, Father. The Bible reading, we commit it to you, Father. The testimony, Father, we give it unto you. Jehovah, King of Glory, we also commit, Almighty Father, and King of Glory, Father, the Father, Lord God Almighty, the, the, the praise and worship will bring you, will commit it all to you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Glorify yourself, O oh Lord. Glorify yourself in those prayers, O oh Lord. Glorify yourself in anything, let anything that we are going to do today, Father, be for your glory and your glory alone in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the praise and adoration. Thank you, Rock of Ages. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let us commit the message and the messenger now to God. Let us pray to God that let any word that he has delivered to his messenger, let it be delivered unto us in his full measure. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will stand against any form of distraction over the messenger in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Lord, that our King will commit, O Lord God Almighty, the message and the messenger to you. Pray, O Lord God Almighty, that may we take control over them. Take control over them, O Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against any spirit of frustration, Father, against your messenger in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you have given them to give us, Father, let it be delivered in his full measure. In the mighty the name of Jesus Christ. Cover the message with the blood of Jesus. The messenger will cover with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, Lord God Almighty, we want to thank you for today again. We thank you for this message. Father, it will never be too much of thanking you. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. We thank you for even the message that, Father, you planned for us to hear today. We thank you, oh Lord God, for the effect that it has to be in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for our brethren on, online. We pray, oh Lord, that any of them that will listen to the message of today, Father, let it go a long way in their spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah, King of Glory, we declare this meeting open today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name we have opened. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, ma'am. More grace, ma'am. More grace, fresh anointing from above unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. To the name of God, we bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for the opening prayer. Right now, we are going to, we are going to 
our praise for this is the time we we have to give our father what what he what he wants us to give to him that is why he created you and i for the first day he created you and i for his praise for you and i to praise him hallelujah to the lamb of god be ready to praise the lord be ready to worship the lord he deserves the praise he deserves the glory the the worship from you from me and that is why he created you and i we bless the name of the lord hallelujah to the lamb of god we thank god for god in jesus name that you and i we have the we have the privilege to be be among the living to praise the lord today we are grateful to almighty god he's worthy to be praised amen so right now we call upon our choir in cameroon man praise the lord. lord bless you all in jesus name. amen praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah it's another moment again for us to for us to sing praise and worship to the Lord, amen. Yes, yes, yes. So today, oh, I will lift up my voice and praise today, not tomorrow. So today, oh, I will lift up my voice and praise.
The exalted Lord above all heavens. Be the exalted Lord above all heavens. Let your glory be above all the let your glory be above all the earth. Father, glory, the glory, holy, most forevermore. The glory, Father. The glory the Yeah. 
Father, the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. We thank God, our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. May the Lord bless you more grace, more anointing unto you all in Jesus' name. Amen. We are Amen. able to call upon you, people in the choir and come for the hymn. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's another moment again for us to sing a hymn. Sing a mess in Jesus' name. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Want to go? Stand up, stand up for Jesus. The soldiers of the cross. 
May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. More grace, more anointing from above unto you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Hallelujah to the name of God. Amen. We are the soldiers of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Amen. So now we are going to our Bible reading. So I will welcome our sister. My beloved sister, Sister Destiny, for the Bible reading. And the Lord bless you, my sister. Okay, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalms chapter 100, verse 1 to 5. 
Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that have made us, and not our, not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you, my sister. We thank God for God for you. you for we, the children of God, the word of the Lord that our sister Jo read the, the, the book of Psalms uh, 100, that you and I, we should make joyful noise unto our Lord. We are the children of the Lord. We are the sons and the daughter of the Lord. We make joyful noise and noise unto our Savior, unto our Redeemer. May the Lord bless you in jesus name amen we thank god for god in jesus name hallelujah amen right now it's time to welcome our our followers online and the and the and the and the one in the forum and the lord bless you all we thank god for your life wherever you are you are joining you are listening you are watching right now may the lord bless you all for joining or for tuning in may the lord bless you in jesus name amen so then i welcome i welcome everyone in the in the forum right now welcome evangelist marie may the lord bless you my jesus now welcome evangelist john may the lord bless you ma in the name of jesus we welcome pastor Pastor James, may the Lord bless you, sir. We welcome Sister Irene, may the Lord bless you. We welcome Sister Regine, may the Lord bless you. Monday, we welcome Brother Justin, may the Lord bless you. We welcome Sister Destiny, may the Lord bless you, my sister. We welcome, I welcome myself. We welcome the the, the 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 goodness and mercy in our midst we bless the name of the lord in the name of jesus Christ. we thank god for god in jesus name amen hallelujah to the lamb of god i don't know if i was supposed to yeah testimony time i think i'm supposed to go testimony level. <laughs> I suppose to go testimony anyway my wish <laughs> testimony time bless it time Praise Master Jesus. Testimony time, blessing time. Je voulais rendre grâce, grâce je voulais rendre grâce à l'Éternel Dieu euh, parce que je suis déjà dans le logement. Euh, même si c'est pour quelques mois, je me dis merci à Dieu. Le temps de trouver hein, une autre solution plus stable. Et euh, merci à Dieu également de ce qu'il prend soin de, de ma famille hein, depuis le Cameroun. Euh, merci également pour ces moments d'encouragement, de, de partage à travers les messages euh, qui, le, qui, qui, qui me communiquent au travers de vos voix. Et je rends gloire à son Saint-Nom. Amen. 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 So, Amen. Praise the Lord. Alléluia. She's thanking God for her, giving her a, a house. She now has her own apartment. She's thanking God. And she's only also thanking God for everything he has done for her, even to take care of her family back home. She's grateful to God. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, my sister. More grace. More grace from above. May the Lord continue to open doors for you, doors of blessings unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for that testimony. We see the testimony with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Testimony time, blessing time. So, hallelujah. hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hey, big, big God, mighty God. Our God is big, he's great, he's mighty, he's faithful, he's glorious God. We lack where to say who he is. He's more than who we can ever think he is. 
I want to thank God for my life. I thank God for my family. Thank God for my children, my grandchildren. I thank God for the people around me. I thank God for this ministry. I want to thank God too for giving me opportunity of being a member of this ministry, of giving me family in this ministry. The other day I travel, uh, when I get to the, the road, you know, they, they mistake my, my suitcase they give to another person. And inside there, I had a I had very, very important document. So it was night, you know, the transaction of night, the person, you know, the way they changed on, on the road. So when we get to the agency, I could not find my bag. It was just a cry, it was just a cry, but you know, something just quickly came my mind. I just quickly remember that I have to call my sister in Christ so that we, I can tell them. So I just call immediately, we just gather we, only on the phone, we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray. I left, I went to the house. Before I go, the driver just said, mom, give me your number. Let me continue to, to be looking for. But as God will have it, after one day, they brought the back for me. I want to thank God because I was so down. I didn't know what to do, but I knew one thing. I told God, I said, this one is not more than you. I know you can do it. And he really, he intervened. He really, he did it in the way only him could do because I cannot explain how the person do not to take the back or not, not to even throw it away because someone like that, they might not see money inside. They will just get upset and throw it. But it came to me, nothing was missing. Oh, everything was inside. I give God glory in the name of Jesus. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah, the God of intervention. We bless the name of the Lord. He's so good, mighty Amen. Savior, mighty Redeemer. You know, as you know, the word of the Lord says, He will never leave us nor forsake us. 100%, he guides us, he watched over us at 24 hours of the day, his eyes on, is on us, watching over us, watching everything that belongs to us. He takes care of, uh, uh, care of all each and every one of all, all his children. We are, thankful, we are thankful to our God, the mighty God, with our lovely God, with our, may the Lord bless you, man. We thank God for God and <laughs> restoring that, and that, uh, <laughs> that your luggage back to you, Father, we thank Amen. God. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. So we see this uh, testimony with the precious Lord of the Lamb of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless God for God. Testimony time. Blessing time. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We thank God for, for Jehovah. So right now, we are going to pray for the servant of God, whom God is going to use to speak to us, to minister to us today for more anointing, for more grace, for the power of God to descend on her, for God to use her mightily for his own glory. Let us pray for the woman of God. Let us pray for her. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of glory, ancient so they, Father, we pray for your daughter, mighty God. And Almighty God, we lift her before you, mighty God, Father. And anoint her fresh, Almighty God, fresh anointing from above unto her, Lord. And Almighty God, I shall die, mighty God, as you make us that we shall live in your family. And I just am mighty in the name of your fresh anointing, Lord. And I put her with your fresh anointing, mighty God. And I put your word in the name of your fresh anointing, we have Amen. Amen. Oh, may the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. I'm going to I'm going to right now to welcome the woman of God for her to come and deliver the word that Father God has given to her to deliver to us in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. So I welcome Evangelist Mary. May the Lord bless you, man. Hallelujah. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Let us pray. 
King of glory, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for this wonderful moment, oh Lord, Father, in your presence. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for your word that you have prepared for us today. Father, we thank you, oh Lord, Father, for the Holy Spirit that is going to give us a spiritual understanding of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your wisdom, for your knowledge, your knowledge, for your discernment, oh Lord. Father, we thank you, oh Lord Jesus, Father, for the people that you have connected, oh Lord, Father, to listen to this message that you have for us. Father, as I make myself available, Holy Spirit, Spirit, oh Lord, Father, use me as you want to use. Put the right word, oh Lord, Father, in my mouth, oh Lord, Father, that you want us to hear today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I cover this message, oh Lord, Father, with the blood of Jesus. Father, let us understand it in the way you want us to understand. Father, give me the boldness, oh Lord, Father, to deliver this message again the way you want me to deliver it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, oh Lord Jesus, Father, that you will be be the era of this message only, but you be the doer of it, O oh Lord, Father, and you put it in, in practice, O oh Lord, Father, and this message, O oh Lord, Father, will bring transformation in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Holy Spirit, this is the time we've been waiting for, Father, to hear from you. Holy Spirit, come and talk to me. Come and talk to me, O oh Lord, Father, talk to your children, talk to me, myself, in the name of Jesus, because on our Father, will submit this hour into your hand. Become, I put myself available, I humble myself before you. I don't know anything, Holy Spirit. I will just bring out, bring forth the what you are going to, the word that you're going to put in my mouth, just like you say to Jeremiah, that you put your word in his mouth. Father, put your word in my mouth that you want your children to hear today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. <clears throat> We are going to read the. Um, we are going to read the the book of uh, John. I will start from John, uh, six verse one to, by the grace of God to fourteen, and then I'm going to read uh, the same Bible verse, but this time around I'm going to start from forty eight, Hallelujah, all the way to sixty six. Maybe going back to thirty five as the Holy Spirit to lead us. In Jesus' name. So I read in Jesus' name. After reading, I'll give you the topic. Oh, let me just say the topic is the living bread. The living bread. Today we are going to be talking about the living bread. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter 6, verse 1. After this, <clears throat> after this thing, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberia. And a great multitude followed him because they saw. Um, they saw his miracle which he did on them that were diseased. Verse 3, and Jesus went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, the, pass, the Passover, a feast of the Jews was near. When Jesus then lifted, uh, lifted up his eyes, saw a great company come, come unto him. He said unto Philip, when shall we buy bread that, that, this, may, uh, that this may eat? Six, and, and this he said to prove him for himself knew what he will do. Philip answered him, 200 pen worth of bread is not sufficient for them that every one of them may take a little. One of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said unto him, There is a lad here which are five loaves and two small fish, but what are, what are they among so many? Jesus said, make the, make the men sit down. Now, there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down in the number about 5,011. And Jesus took the livers, and when he gave thanks, he, when he gave thanks, he gave thanks, he distributed to disciples and disciples to them that were set down, were set down. And likewise of the fish, as much as they would. 12. When they, when they were filled, they, uh, he said unto the, his disciple, gather up the, frag, the, the fragments that remain that nothing be lost. 14 and uh, 13. Wherefore, they gathered them together and they filled 12 baskets with the, fra the fragment of the five barley uh, uh, loaves and with remain over the above into them that it ate. 
14. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, this of a true that prophet, uh, sorry, this is this is of a true that prophet I should uh, the prophet that should come into the world. Hallelujah. Before I continue the whole thing, I would like us to go all the way to verse 14, like I said, that I'm going to read the whole thing so that you can come back to the message. Hallelujah. So I read uh, 48. I'll start from 48. I am the I am the I am that bread of life. Your father did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven that a man may eat therefore and not die. Verse 51, I am the living bread which come down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is, is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. 52, the Jews therefore strove among themselves saying, how can this man give us his, give us his flesh to eat? 58. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh, the, the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink, drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eaten my flesh and drinken my life at eternal life, and I will raise up, I will raise him up in the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Verse 27, in fact, 57. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by, by the Father, so he that eateth me, uh, eateth, he saved me, even he shall live by me. 40, 58. This is the bread, this is that bread which comes down from heaven, not as your father did eat manna. A manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. 59. This thing said he in the synagogue as thought of Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this said, this is a hard saying, who can hear it? When Jesus knew himself that his disciple murmured at it, he said unto them, do this offend you? What if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend, ascend up with where he was before? It is the spirit that quick, quickened the flesh, profit nothing. The world that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But therefore, some of you that believe not, but therefore, as some of you that believe not, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believe not, and who should betray him. That is 65. And he said, therefore, and, um, he said, therefore, said I unto, unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto me of my father. 46. 66. From that time, many of his disciples went back, walked not more with him. Then said Jesus to the twelve, Will ye also go? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless his word in the name of Jesus. You see, um, as the Bible says in verse one, uh, verse two, you see, when Jesus when those people saw Jesus, most of the Bible said the great multitude, the great multitude, even the disciple, they came, they followed Jesus, but they did not follow Jesus because it's the brief, uh, the, the living bread. It, they did not follow Jesus because it was the salvation of their soul. They did not follow Jesus because they believed that is the Son of God. They were following Jesus because of the miracle Jesus was performing. Because of the miracle, because they have interest of that miracle, the, because of how Jesus was feeding them, that is the miracle that they were seeking. And if you read it from the, the verse 14 all the way down, you see that even when Jesus crossed to another side, 
they still have to go after him. If you see in, 20, uh, uh, in 25, they came. In 25, they asked. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, where comes thou either? Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me, not because ye saw the miracle, but because ye did eat of the love and of the living, and were filled. 37, that was the key. Labor not for the meat which perish, but for the meat which endures into everlasting, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him had God, as God the Father, sealed. Hallelujah. So these people, they were eating, they were following Jesus because of what Jesus was performing. It's not because, who, because of who Jesus was for real. Even, you see, the next day, the multitude continued to follow him, seeking for another meal, seeking for another miracle, seeking for another meal, seeking for another miracle. But what? But they were not seeking to... They were not seeking to know who is Jesus and why he's doing all those things. They were not seeking that, that one. They were busy seeking the physical bread. They were busy seeking the physical bread that it was not satisfying them. They will eat today, tomorrow, they still have to for another one. They will eat tomorrow, tomorrow, they will eat today, tomorrow, they still have him for another one. They were seeking physical bread, but there was something more important than that. There was something most important they, they did not know. It was the food that enjoys to everlasting father, the, the, the food that enjoys to everlasting life, which is the word of God, which is Jesus himself. Because the Bible said Jesus is the word of God. If we go back to, to 35, he said, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that comes to me shall never anger, and he that believes on me shall never be tested. But they were busy looking for physical bread, looking for physical miracle. The best miracle that we're supposed to be looking for is our soul to be saved. That is the best miracle. Our soul to be saved, our life to be transformed. That is the miracle that Jesus wants these people. That's why he reminded them, you people are laboring for the things that will perish. You are laboring for the miracle. Today you see even in the body of Christ, people are more focused on the miracle. If somebody is performing the miracle, everybody will run there. If somebody is prophesizing, everybody will run there. They don't want to know where the prophecy is coming from. We don't want to know who the spirit they are using to perform that miracle. It's, they are not interested. They are only interested on the physical. The spirit behind it is not their business. That's why you see the children of God, they are perishing. That's why you see there's no transformation. Jesus told them, your father eat manna in the wilderness, but they died. Why? Because they eat the physical manna. They did not understand it in a spiritual way. They did not know God. They will finish each manna, they will murmur against God. They will finish each manna, they will sin against God. They was doing it, but there was no changing. The manna that they were eating, it was not bringing transformation in their life. That's why they were dying. But Jesus said, this one is different. If you eat me, if you eat my flesh, you will not perish. You will not die. If you drink my blood, you will know, you will live. You understand. Jesus wanted, to, uh, wanted them to turn from their point of view, their point of viewing the way, the way they were seeing. He wanted to turn them away from their point of view. You understand? To turn their way of thinking, to turn them from physical to spiritual. You understand? Because they were thinking their spiritual daily bread rather than for their need, which was spiritual. They were more focusing on physical rather than their need of spiritual. Because although they were coming following Jesus, but Jesus knew that they were not saved. As the Bible verse says that Jesus knew already those that are going to stay with him and already know that who is going to betray him. But all of them, there were multitude, but only 12 that was able to remain. That was accepting the, the spiritual food in day that remain. Hallelujah. When Jesus said to them, eat my flesh and drink my blood, he was referring to his spiritual body and, his, and blood. 
which is the word of God and the spirit of God. You understand? The word of God, it will endure to you. It was endured to you to the end because it's the word of God that is going to judge us. The word of God that you practice is going, is the, it will accompany your spirit. It will accompany your soul to the, to the judgment of God. That's why you see, when you stand in the judgment of God, your conscience will bring everything that you ever forgot. It's your body that will make you to forget. Your spirit will remember it very well. You understand. He said the word of the, the, the word that you are hearing today, it will draw in you, it will be in you, it will maintain you. That's why you see when you are going through challenges, you are going through a hard time, you remember the word of God, it will bring you peace. You remember the word of God, it will bring you peace, it will comfort you. That is what God wanted them, not to remember the bread that ah, as we are going to Jesus, they will give us food today, we are eating today. No, not that kind of thing. He wanted them, he gave them what they were seeking, but he needed to tell them that you are seeking for something that you, you, you will perish. That I'm giving to you today, it will perish, it will finish. But the one that I will give you, if you take it, if you eat my body, which is the word of God, if you drink my blood, it will remain in you. And that is enough to save your soul, to make you to stand all the challenge that will come in your way, to make you to endure the hard time that you face before the, the end of your life. You understand? It's not the word that, the one that the food that you eat today, and tomorrow, after a couple of hours, you want more again. You are in need again. That's why Jesus said that in verse 49, that after eating the physical bread, they will still have to go back to their, their, their sinful life. Among those that was eating those physical bread, the liars were dead. The thief were dead. The prostitutes were dead. You understand? The fornicators were dead. Among those 5,000, all of them were there, but they eat that bread. But their life did not change. It did not make them believe to the person that was performing those miracles. They, they, their eyes, their spiritual eyes did not open to see the power behind those miracles. The anointing, you understand, the real person that was performing that miracle. That is the spiritual blindness of today of many believers. They will tell you, what are you seeing in this place? What are you following this person? He will tell you what he's seeing, but he cannot see behind of it. You cannot see the spirit behind. You understand? He will tell you that, ah, this, this one, if he pray for you, ah, you will do that. But do you know the power that he's using? No, because you never have time to seek and know. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. But when you eat the spiritual bread, which is the word of God, and in the word of God, your life will change. You start thinking, you start being afraid, you start avoiding certain things in your life because now you know that the word of God that you are reading, it starts to bring in transformation in your life. When the Bible said that, when Jesus said the drinking of the, the blood is to be filled with the spirit of God, let us quickly go to Leviticus 17 verse 11 and see what the word of God is saying about blood. Leviticus 17, verse 11. Hallelujah. The book of Leviticus verse, um, 17, 11 said, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make a tournament of your soul. For your soul. For it is the blood that makes a tournament for the soul. Verse 12, therefore I said unto the children of Israel, no soul of you shall eat blood, neither shall any stranger that is sojourn among you eat blood. You see, they say every spirit, every soul, I mean, every, the life is in the blood. Now, our Lord Jesus knew that there is life in the blood. So he wants us to eat his blood because it's everlasting life. He has no end. By drinking the life of Jesus, you are having, automatically you are having eternal life in your life. Because the blood that you are going to drink is going to purify you, is going to sanctify you, and is going to transform, is making a tournament. You understand? It's purifying you. That's why he said, you drink my blood so that you have life in you. Unless you drink the blood of Jesus, you have no life. Because those people, they, they, they priest. The priest that was busy doing sacrifice, 
You understand? They were busy doing sacrifice. They were busy doing sacrifice. But those sacrifices were so changing the life of, of them. So it needed Jesus to come and show them the real blood that we needed, the real bread that we needed. The spirit of any being is in the blood. By drinking the blood, you are giving the blood, you are drinking his blood, like I say, you are getting the spirit. The spirit of God is dwelling in you. The spirit of God is dwelling in you. Let us quickly go to 1 John, the book of 1 John 3. The book of 1 John 3, 24. It said, and he that keepeth his commandment dwells in him, and he, and he in him, and, he, and he hereby we know that he abided in us by the spirit which he had given to us. Through the blood of Jesus, Jesus is giving us his own spirit to dwell in us, to dwell in us through his blood. By obeying his commandment. And when you talk by commandment of God, is obeying the word of God. And if you're talking about obeying the word of God, we are obeying Jesus. Because the word, the, the, the word of God is the bread, is the living bread that we need. Every day we should be eating the bread of God. It's the living bread that you make you not to die. You make your soul not to die. You make your spirit not to die. You cannot have the spirit of God if you obey not his commandment. It's impossible. You cannot have the spirit of God if you don't obey the commandment of God. That's why the Bible said that God hears no sinner. The prayer of a sinner, it is an abomination before God. Now, if you know that you are living a sinful life, yet you confess that God is answering your prayer, you are doing whatever you are doing. This is maybe the time that you start asking now, God, which spirit that is using you? Maybe because you are just performing your gift that God gave you, but it's not the spirit of God in you. Some people perform miracle with flesh, prophesy with flesh. It's not because it's coming from God. Hallelujah. Going back to our topic, those disciples and multitudes, they were following him because of miracle. It's not because it was performed, because of the miracle that he was performing. It's not because they knew him as their redeemer. It's not because they believe that is the bread of life. You know, because if they really knew him, they will not even doubt the word that was coming from him. Because the first opportunity, they start murmuring. How can we eat his flesh? Many of us today, we are in Christ because of, because of one thing, maybe because of healing. You are following Christ because of healing. It's not because you want him to save your life, but you are following him because of a particular thing that you need from him, maybe healing, maybe breakthrough, childbearing, maybe marriage, maybe a job, maybe anything. You understand you are in need of it. You are desperate of it. You know that through him, I'll get it. But are you, for, are you is it because you are following him because of this thing? Or you are following him because you want your soul to be saved? Because if you want your soul to be saved, even if you don't have all those things, you continue to follow him because you know what you need. You understand. Jesus was telling them to seek those things that will not perish. To stop thinking those things that will perish, but to focus on the things that will not perish, you know, like salvation. To seek for the, the salvation of their soul by having their daily devotion with him spiritually, by, through the word of God, spiritually, through the word of God. That is the thing that Jesus wanted them to focus on. It's not all those things that you perish, material thing, physical thing. You understand the thing that you know? Yes. The, 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 they are fathers in the wilderness. They, they saw miracle. They live a miracle life. Look what God performed in, in, in Egypt before they come out. It did not change their life. All those miracles that they saw, it did not change their life. Why? Because they were not fed by the spirit of food. The spiritual food that they needed, it was not there. That brings transformation. The word of God, it was not deep in their life. They were just living flesh, 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 flesh. 
even all the miracles, even the Red Sea, even when they went to the wilderness, God still feeding them with manna, but the manna did not change their life. They were sinning continuously. No transformation at all. Now God said that, Jesus said that your father, they eat manna and all of them, they died because they did not have the living bread. Now, he said, even when we are eating all this bread, if you don't eat what is necessary, what you need, you still have to die and perish. But if you eat my flesh, which is my word, and drink my blood, which is my spirit, you shall live eternal life. The life that he has prepared for us. That's what he was trying to tell, to tell them. Those people, they were eating that bread with, and fish with unbelief in their heart. They were eating with doubt in their heart. For you to know that the manifestation of the doubt and unbelieving, when Jesus said that now this is the time to take you in another level, in a spiritual way, you must eat my flesh and drink my blood. They say, how can this man ask you? They forget about all the miracles Jesus did so far. They forget it. They forget it. They say, how can you ask us to eat your bread? This is the hard saying. The hard saying that it made them even to forget their need of that daily bread, physical bread. They forget about it. The Bible is, they say that in all of them, in the, the six, they say, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked not more with him. Why? Because the word of God was not deep in them. Because they refused to accept the word of salvation. They, they refused to receive the spirit, they live in the, the spirit that will make them to live eternal life in heaven. They refuse it. They refuse it because truly they were not seeking for their salvation. They were seeking miracle. They were seeking daily bread, which will perish. That's exactly. That's why Jesus asked this, the 12. He said, will you also go? Will you also follow them? Or you will stay to save your soul. The Bible is reminding us that we should not follow multitude to commit sin, but should work out our salvation. Hallelujah. Those people, they did not, they did not, they did not know the, the man that was there. They, they, Jesus was trying to change their minds, to accept salvation, to accept spiritual way of feeding their, their soul. They were busy feeding their body, forgetting their spirit, forgetting their soul. And the when a, 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 a carnal man that a carnal man cannot understand the spirit of him. He cannot. That is the reason why Jesus told, reminded them to tell them, your fathers eat that bread in the wilderness, eat that bread in the wilderness and they die. The same way you people are going to die if you don't eat my flesh, because you people are not saved. You people are not receiving salvation because of their, they did not believe. These people, they did not believe in Jesus, just like their father, they did not believe in God. That's why they died. Their father saw all those miracles and they died because their souls, their spirits were not saved. The whole Testament, in the Old Testament, the priest offered animal blood over and over again, but the, the, this repeat shedding of blood never permanently remove the cause of sin in their life because they did not eat the living bread, the bread that you endure to eternal life. They needed that bread. They needed to drink that blood, the blood of the only son of God. And if we have to go to Hebrews 10, let us quickly go to Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10, let's start from 10 to all the way to 11. But he said, by the, by the which will we, uh, will, uh, will we are sanctified through the, the offering 
the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Hallelujah. Those priests, they were doing over and over, but it did not permanently remove the cause of sin. But listen, verse 11 says, and every priest stand daily ministering and offering often time the same sacrifice which can never take away sin. Did you hear that? They were doing all the sacrifice that it never take away sin. Verse 12, but this man, after he had offered once a sacrifice of sin forever, sat down in the right hand of God. Only once Jesus did the sacrifice, and that was it. Until today, people are still saved through the blood, through the bread. That is what he was trying to tell them. But the priest was doing, was standing in the altar, ministering day by day, probably every day. Offering, sharing, sharing bread, the blood. But that blood was not able to remove sin, neither the cause of sin, neither the consequences of sin. But he needed the blood of Jesus. We needed the blood of Jesus. He was telling these people, unless you drink my blood, unless you eat my bread in my, in my, in my flesh, there is no way you have eternal life. Because whatever you do today, it will still come back to you because you are not purified. You have no life in you. You drink the blood of animal, the blood of animal. Animal, when it die, it die. You have no soul. You understand? But you, when you drink the blood of Jesus, you have the spirit of the living God in you that never die. And you'll make you to live forever. That's why Jesus went. When Jesus came and offered up, offer up his life, pouring out his blood on the cross, the perfect, the perfect sacrifice has finally been made. The perfect sacrifice that he was waiting for is finally been made. That's why he said that he offered himself, you know, once. And that was all for all of us. You understand. This is the blood Jesus wanted. This is the blood, the blood that Jesus was talking about. For you to understand the spiritual thing, you must be spiritual. Those people, they were full of flesh. They were full of flesh. The flesh was deeply in them. That's all they were seeing is just physical. Somebody that is doesn't is not spiritual, even if you read the word of God. He still have to bring another word of God to defend himself because he doesn't understand the things of the spirit. But I thank God for the drinking of the blood of Jesus. The spirit of God dwells in us to lead us, to correct us, to show us the right way that we can go and you do not depart from it. You understand. When you claim the blood of Jesus, it will, cover, it will cleanse, it will sanctify, it will perfect. You understand. That's why the Bible says, the blood of Abel, it was only pleading for vengeance. But the blood of our Lord Jesus is to cleanse us because this is the what he came to do. His assignment is come to save the world. And the only way you accept that salvation is by eating his flesh. When he said eating his flesh, he was talking about his word because he himself, he says here, he says in 35, he said, Jesus, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believe on me shall never test him. Because you'll be eating the word of God. And if you go back now, if you go back to the book of uh, the book of Deuteronomy. Let us go the book of Deuteronomy 8. The book of Deuteronomy verse 8 and uh, chapter 8. Let's start from 1. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the law swear unto your fathers. Verse 2. And thou shalt remember all the ways which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee, to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was the 
which was in thy hand in, in thy heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandment or not. You understand. God told them to be observe all the commandments that He gave them. Hold the command them to give them so that they can live and they can multiply, even if to possess the land which God swore to their fathers. He said, and thou shall remember all the way with the law thy God led thee in this 40 days. All the way that God did with them in that 40 days in the wilderness. That means he wanted them to remember how each time they were sinned against God, the punishment God was giving them. God said that is to make, is to make them to humble them and to prove to them who he is. And it was to, to remove that spirit of pride in them, spirit of uh, sinning continuously. He wanted them to remember, so them to see, to keep it in their heart. God was doing it to see whether they obey his commandment or not. God was doing all those, punishing them, correcting them to see whether they are going to obey it or not. But did they obey? Did they stand on it? Verse three, he said, and. And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to anger, and defeat thee with manner which thou knowest not. Neither did thy father knew, uh, did, neither did thy, thy, thy father know that he might take thee to know, might take thee know that man do not live by bread only, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of the, the law do men live. So God wanted to, uh, to beg them to understand. That is not about the manner that they are eating every day, but to obedience to their word, because even though they were eating manna, but they was continuously falling in sin. But he wanted them to obey all the commandments God was giving to them through Moses so that they can live. Because they were sinning every time God would give his word to Moses to go and tell them. They themselves, they did not have personal relationship with God because of the multitude of sin that was covering them. So the only person that was a mediator at that time to go and tell them what God was saying to them and also to take their request to God is only Moses. Only Moses. Because if it was God to, fall, to come to their, their presence, they would die because God, the power of God, will consume anything that has any sin, anything that represents sin. He cannot stand the presence of God. He cannot even stand the presence of the Holy Spirit. You understand. He was telling them that he gave them manna, but, he, 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 but by every word that he said, man shall not live by bread alone. There was more focusing on bread. Ah, Moses, did you brought us here to come and die with anger? Do you brought us here? That means there's no grave in Egypt. That's why you brought us here to come. They were not focusing on the word of God that was saying that I'll take you to a promised land, a land that you don't need to suffer, a land that the, 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 you see the honey and milk is falling there. You don't need to walk too hard like you was walking in Egypt for you to get food because food will be waiting for you. Spend peaceful life will be waiting for you. A blessing life will be waiting for you. But they will not pay attention to the word of God that God was telling them. They was more focusing on what they are seeing. Blessed are the man that he believe without seeing. That's what the word of God is telling us. Even if what you are seeking, you have not yet received it, continue to believe that God, the plan of God of him for you is of good, is not of evil. Don't check your life in everything that you are seeking. Even if you don't get it, don't get it today. No, 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 no. You know that God has the good plan in your life. And whatever he said, continue to eat. It's flesh. Drink his blood. He knows what you want. He knows what you need. He will give you when the appointed time he will come for you to receive. Whatever he, he said, do not labor for the things that you perish. Yes. He will give you marriage, tomorrow you die. He will give you children, tomorrow you die. He will give you blessing, tomorrow you die. He will give you uh, whatever you seek, a better life. But tomorrow you still have to die after receiving all those things. You understand? So that's why he was telling you, when after receiving all those things, you die. Are you not going to perish? Because you did not work your salvation. But what is telling you that seek ye first the kingdom of God, seek ye first what is needful. That's why he said to Mary, Mary has chosen the path that cannot be taken away from her. You cannot take the word of God out of my heart. Even if you stop me from preaching, 
even if you talk, stop me from saying it, I will meditate in my heart because the word of God is there. You understand? Even if I'm not eating, yes, I know that even if I don't have food to eat today, I know that I will not die because the word of God says man shall not live by bread alone. But for every word that proceeds in the mouth of God, that, that is what makes the man to live. Do you understand? He said we should live by faith. And faith comes by hearing, hearing what? Hearing the word of God. The more you eat the word of God, the more you hear the word of God, the more you, 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 you cover yourself, you cleanse yourself with the blood of Jesus, the more you are closer to your salvation, the more you are making your life perfect according to the will of God. But without hearing the word of God, even if you are eating every day, your name, there's no way your name will be in the book of life because there's no life in you. That's what he said to that church in Sardis. He said, thou has a name that you live, but spiritually you are dead. They was increasing physically, but spiritually they were dead. There were no spirit of God in them. There were no word of God in them. They were perishing. In fact, they was already condemned. But thank God for the mercy of God. He came to them to give them a last warning to correct themselves, to arrange themselves, to amend their ways, to amend their ways so that they will not perish, so that they will not perish. Have a relationship with God. Those people, they die, they perish because they, will, they were not feeding their spirits with the word of God. Neither the spirit of God was on them because they believe not. They believe not, even those that perish in the wilderness because they did not believe in Moses. But it's not because they was not doing the, the sacrifice of the, 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 the sin. They were doing it. The priest was over and over busy sharing, uh, sharing blood. You understand? Today they will come with the animal. Eh? Ah, I come, what about the one that you could not even afford? What the one that could not even afford? I thank God for God. Because if that period is supposed, if it's still in this period, some people are still struggling to put food in their table. How much more buying a sheep for the sacrifice of their sin? And one sheep is for one person, you cannot cover the whole family. How will it be? But God, with his infinite mercy, he said, no, 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 no. Let my son come and do the sacrifice once for all to be saved. That is why he's telling us that. Don't labor for those physical things. Don't labor those, those physical things. Don't labor for the miracle. I'm not saying the miracle is bad. All of us, we need miracle. All of that, we need sacrifice. But let, that, let it not be our priority. Let it not be our priority. I'm not saying, saying that miracle is bad. We all need it. We all need it. But... Let God be the number one. Even for that miracle, if you believe not, and the only thing that makes you to believe is the word of God. Even that miracle, some people receive the miracle with doubt in their heart. They don't even believe it. You understand? They don't even believe it. May the Lord help us. That's why you see people, they will be like uh, Lisa jumping hole to hole looking for miracle. And you see like this one, hey, 15,000 people are following this man. Ah, that means this man is from God. Those 15,000 that are following this man, you have to ask, what are they following? Are they following Jesus through that man? Or they are following the work of that man is doing? That is the question that you need to ask. Because if you are following Jesus, even when you don't see the miracle today, you stay because you know who you are following. Many people until today, they are missing their blessing because they cannot be found in their point of blessing. Their point of, uh, of uh, visitation, they are not there. The angel will come, you are in the north. Tomorrow the angel say, okay, maybe go to the north, maybe it's there. You are in south already. You are no position. You are just getting there, getting there, getting there. Be in your appointed place when God has placed you. Whether there is rain or there is no rain, just wait. Just wait. Abba Cook said, even if it tarries, wait for it. It 
shall not, it, it will surely come to pass. Wait for it. But be in a place that you need to be, the place that you make an appointment with God. Don't be following after those things that will perish. As so many people, some people die in the day of his wedding. I saw my niece, my niece, my niece shared a picture of a young man. He died in the day of his wedding. The day of his wedding, he died. Now, imagine if you were seeking to, to marry. Eh, God bless me with my marriage. I want to get married. I want you forgot about your salvation. Now you finally get your marriage, but you still have to die. Did you work out your salvation? Did you enjoy that marriage you are seeking for? Yes, God, give me a child. Give me a child now. The day you are going to give birth. Do you know how many people died as they are giving birth? They died. Now, did you work out your salvation also as you was asking for the child? See the thing that is needful, that you cannot be taken away from you, that you remain until that day when Jesus will come, that you remain. He will remain forever. He will remain for eternal life. That's what Jesus said. Don't eat the bread our Father ate. Let us eat the living bread, the bread that you make, the bread that you maintain us until the coming of our Lord Jesus. The bread that will make our name to be permanent in the book of life. The bread that will make us to be permanent in the book of life. As you are following Jesus, don't follow Jesus because of one interest of that you perish. Follow Jesus because you want your soul to be saved. Follow Jesus because you want him to redeem you. Follow Jesus because you want his blood to cleanse you. Follow Jesus because you want to live eternal life with him. Even if he doesn't give you what you are seeking. Even if you don't give you what, some people, when they don't get what they are seeking, they get discouraged. They get discouraged. Just like those disciples. Those disciples, they forgot where they started with him. Because spiritually, they was not with him. That's why you see, they were discouraged. This, this is a hard saying. It's a hard saying. Today, many people, they are finding holiness and righteousness as a hard saying. They, the day you give your life to Jesus. Yes, it was just about prophecy and miracle. It, eh, you are going to do this. You are going to do this now. The spirit of God is taking you now to another dimension to understand salvation. For you to be saved, you must walk. You must accept the holiness and righteousness message. You must separate from the world. You must give up all those property of the enemy that will make you not to enter into the kingdom. You are saying this is a hard saying. It's the hard saying because God cannot send somebody to hell because of makeup. You are saying it's hard saying because God cannot send somebody to hell because of transfer. You are saying it's hard saying. You are saying this is a hard saying because they are talking about the thing that gives you pleasure, the things that is going to perish. The day you close your eyes, you still have to stop that makeup. The day you close your eyes, you still have to stop that trust. You don't even know the clothes that they are going to dress you with. So why don't you just drop it now that you have the choice to choose? Why don't you just Drop it. Why do you have to fight the world that will save your life? The living bread. The bread that you, you take you to everlasting life. And you are saying it's, it's hard saying. Just like those disciples say, it's a hard saying. Who will listen to it? Who is listening to it? It's a hard saying. They cannot take it because of that. You understand? In verse 60, it says, many, de many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this said, when they have heard this said, this is hard saying. Who can hear it? Today, many churches, they are doing great things. They are doing miracles. They are doing, but when you talk to the salvation, when you talk to repentance, I'm not talking about repentance, the one that uh, the, 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 uh, our father in the wilderness, they repented. They were repenting. They were repenting the same way they were committing sin because there were no conversion in their life. The Bible is telling us the book of Acts 3.19 that repent therefore and what be converts. As you're repenting, make sure you be convert. That means change. That's why God wants us to change. 
from the daily bread to a living bread today. He wants us to change from the physical bread to a spiritual bread today so that we live eternal life, so that we have the life that he has prepared for us, so that we will not perish, so that we will not die, but have everlasting life. Have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Don't be offended. Some people are offended when they say that, my sister, this thing will not make you to see God. Hey, I've been Christian for so, so, so. I read the Bible. Yes, the word that I'm selling you is also in the Bible. But the enemy will, don't want to, he will not like you to see it. Why you are not seeing? You are reading the Bible for how many years? You still have not been convinced that hearing will take you to hell, trouser will take you to hell, makeup will take you to hell, fair care will take you to hell, and godliness, worldliness will take you to hell. Why? Because you have no spirit of God. Because if you don't drink the blood of Jesus to give you the spirit that you need to make you to see clearly, I'm telling you by experience, I was a creature, I even ashamed of saying it. I gave my life to Jesus in 1994. It's 1994 that I gave my life to Jesus and I was zealous with God. But that zeal, it did not transform my life. I was living a sinful life. Until 2013, after how many years? In 2013, I was like, is it not the same Bible that I've been reading all this while? How come I was not seeing this Bible verse? I was seeing it with blindness. I was seeing it, Satan was interpreting to me in a different way. It was a big shock to me. Ha! Huh? You understand what I mean? So you mean this message? Of, I thought the message of holiness started in 2013. <laughs> I thought it. I thought the message of holiness started in 2013. They are telling me that it starts way before I was born. Uh -uh. It started before I was born. There's people that before I was born, they already know that makeup is sin. They already know that man cannot wear what pertains to a man. How long deep a life will exist? They don't wear all those things because they believe it's a sin. And deep a life probably was there before I was born. You understand what I mean? Many people know the message of holiness. Many people know about hell before I was born. But I thought the hell started when in 2013, when I started hearing the message of hellfire, hellfire was like, whoa. So I was reading this Bible, believing that with my sin, I'll make it to heaven. Many people, they're still in the same position as me because we are eating the bread that perish. We are eating the matter in the manner in wilderness. With unbelief in our heart, with doubt in our heart, with lying spirit in our heart, with bitterness in our heart, with unforgiveness in our heart, with pride in our heart. Because our soul is not yet safe. Our spirit is not yet safe. This is today. My brother, my sister, you are hearing the word of God today. You might think that is Mary talking to you. Ah. It's not Maria, I did not write any Bible. I don't even have any heaven. Talk less of hellfire to punish you with. It's God that's using me to talk not just to you, but to talk to me. This is the day of decision. You might not have tomorrow to make another decision, just like our fathers in the wilderness. How many people make it to the promised land? Even Moses that took them from, from Egypt, made them to cross the Red Sea. He did not enter the promised land. Now, if God did not overlook the sin of Moses, he was punishing him in front of everybody, said that you will not enter. What makes you believe that your familiarity with God will make that God to overlook your sin, the bitterness, the malice in your heart? My brother, my sister, if Moses that saw Jesus, I saw God face to face, did not make the promised land, this is the time to start checking the spot of your garment if you really want to make it there. May the Lord bless you. As we hear the word of God, as we hear the word of God, don't be the hearer only. Make that word of God to start operating in your life, to start bringing transformation in your life. As also I'm praying God to transform. Because where the word of God comes, it's not for our neighbor that did not join today. It's for us that we are here. And God knows us better than ourselves. Even if you don't confess it, he knows. May the Lord bless you.
Amen. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for God. May the Lord bless you, woman of God. We just thank God for the word of God. We bless his holy name, his worthy, his worthy, his worthy, his worthy. We thank God for the living word. We thank God for our living Jesus. We thank him for his giving us his word. We thank God. May the Lord bless you, woman of God. We thank God for your life, for your giving this message out as Father God wants us to hear it. We are grateful to God, you know. I thank God. So when the disciples, when the disciples uh, left, some of the disciples left, you know. Same as you have already, you said, have you said it, that the same thing is still happening today. We are looking for miracle from right and left. Somebody said, have you heard this prophet? Have you heard about this prophet? Have you heard about this prophetess? Ah, raising people from there, they're doing miracle. And you start looking for them, seeking for them. As the servant of God said, do you know where they got their power from? Do you know the power they are using? Huh? Father Lord Jesus Christ said, they will do signs and wonders. Not that they will not do signs and wonders. So. That is why you must know that the, the first pro prophets are here. They will do signs and wonders. That is what Father Lord Jesus Christ says. To do what? To draw people away, to draw people away from the Lord to the, to the truth of the word of the Lord. That is why you and I must be watchful, must be careful, not to go and fall in the wrong hand. By you looking for miracle, for me looking for miracle, go and fall in their hand that it's only God can get you out. Some of them, got, get, they, they got it there, they, they cannot get out anymore. Spiritually, they are bound. They're spiritually, they are locked. Even though they are hearing the pastor or the, the preacher is, he preaches something contrary to the word of God, they cannot go out because their spirits are locked there. They have been bound in that place. Please don't watch where you are jumping to from here to here because you want miracles. Huh? As the servant of God, she says, the miracle, you are now, when we pass on, the miracle that we, we are seeking for, it will be still here. Huh? Let us seek the word of the Lord. Say, Father God said, according to the word of the Lord, that uh, you and I, we should not live by uh, we, uh, the, the word of the Lord is you. In the word of the Lord, you and I, not just only the bread. We must live by the word of God. The word of God is Jesus. The word of God is the living Jesus. Let us eat him. Let us drink his blood. That is what is good for you and I. Let us draw closer to Jesus. He loves you and I so much. He cares for you and I so much. We should not be seeking for miracle. Father God bless us with miracle. Fine. Let us seek him first. May the Lord give us the grace. May the Lord bless you, woman of God, for this message. We thank God for this message, for opening our eyes not to be seeking miracle, not to be jumping from one, from one place to another. You know, it's like a spiritual uh, prostitute. Huh? I know, you know, some uh, prostitutes, they don't stay in one place. From this country to this country, from some other, from this state to this state, from this uh, nation, to, you know, jumping. No, not so, not, we are not supposed to be so. God has blessed you with where you know. This is where the word of God is coming to feed your spirit. Stay there. Don't let somebody come and tell you, oh, miracle is happening here, miracle is happening here. Or if this, if the, the, the man wave his hand or the woman wave his hand, everybody is falling in anointing. Which kind of anointing? That is what you and I have to know. The time for the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. We must look, we must watch out and look, listen and see what our lovely Jesus did. The time our lovely Jesus was here, all those multitudes, eh? 
all those multitudes that was in that, in that coming following after Jesus. Do you see anyone that they, they said uh, for in the Bible and Jesus Christ just raised his hand, everybody was falling anointing. Have you ever read it? Where is it in the Bible? I don't know where we are getting our, our this. Is that is why the enemy fooling, fooling the children of God, most of the children of God. Fully and they are not, which can anoint it. Fully and not it that you, some of them will say they fall and are not, it raise their two legs of, and they're, they're almost naked. Where is it in the Bible? That is your miracle you are looking for. Rolling on the floor. That is demon. Because the word of the law coming now, the demon cannot stand the fire of God. They start falling and it's rolling because the fire of God. And you will hear a falling and anointing. Who's going to fall in and anoint him? The Lord Jesus Christ, when he was here, the son of the, the son of God. Pray for people. You didn't see anyone that they wrote in the Bible when Jesus Christ was praying, pray for these people. They fell in anointing, raised their legs up, or two legs up, and the, you know, greeting the sky. They were half naked. You have to come and cover their 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 butt and you 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 know their nakedness when they are rolling. That is Zimono. I know the truth is bitter. You will not believe it. Maybe you are in that church. You say, what well, this woman is saying. Please go to your Bible. Go and read it. When the Father Lord Jesus Christ, he, the Son of the Most High God, was here, when he prayed for people, where, where is he written? Search it for yourself. I should search it for myself. Don't go around to where you, you cannot get out anymore. May the Lord help us. So may the Lord bless you, woman of God. More grace, more anointing in Jesus' name. So right now, before, before we will pray for the woman of God, we are going to pray for us. You know what we will ask for that? For God to give us the spirit of discernment. The, the spirit of discernment. When we, somebody come and tell you, have you heard? Have you heard this one thing or if something happened? You need, you and I need the spirit of discernment to know this thing, is it from God or it's not from God? Please let us pray for ourselves. Let us ask God to give us the spirit of discernment. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of the Lord, 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 the
we are going to ask God to bless her in return for using her to be a blessing to us, for God to bless her in return, for God to re, 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 no, for God to 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 increase that more and more, more anointing from above, her, more power, more grace unto her. For God to send his angels to encamp around her, the virtue that went out of her. For God to replenish you unto her. Let us pray for her. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, Father, we are praying for your sons and servants, oh Lord. And I will thank you, everlasting Father, for using her to be a blessing to the body of Christ. Oh my God. And I should use her to be a blessing, Father. Bless her return in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. And I bless her, bless her family in return in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. And I build the hedge of protection around her, Lord. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God. Replenish unto her the virtue that went out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, any power, any spirit, any personality. They want to attack us spiritually, physically, because of this message, oh Lord. And I let your thunder from above arise and consume those powers in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, thank you, angel, to encamp around her and her family in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for her life. Thank you for using her to be a blessing to the body of Christ. Awesome, Daddy, marvelous, Daddy, great Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. Oh my God, we thank God for this message. We thank God, we thank God. So right now it's time for our contribution. I will call upon the, the woman of God, Evangelist John, for the contribution. May the Lord bless you, man. Thank God for this wonderful message. We really thank God in the name of Jesus. God bless you, man of God. And on how the announcing is, you will fall, you still get up and do something for yourself. I never see somebody that gets up and think you start to appear, appear without them doing something. You will fall and you still get up and follow Christ before you make it, obey his commandments before you make it. So it is better to hear a message like this and stand for it and ask God the grace to be transformed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Thank you, woman of God. We're not going to our contribution, our contribution, uh, our church giving, our offering. We are going to contribute you know, to the glory of God. As I will be singing this message, we are going to, you know, prepare our offering, prepare our tithe to glorify God. As I will be singing this song, I mean, Give her of all the good, good things. Father, we cannot thank you enough. Give her of all the good, good things. Father, we cannot thank you enough. Give her of all the good, good things. Father, we cannot thank you enough. Give her of all the mighty things. Jehovah, we cannot thank you enough. Jehovah, we cannot thank you enough. Jehovah, we cannot thank you enough. The giver of all the good, good things. Father, we cannot thank you enough. Let us lift up our offering our sight as we pray to the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To over King of Glory, we present our offering and tithe before you, Father. We want to thank you for giving us this opportunity, my Lord and my King. We bless your holy name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Father God Almighty, O oh Lord God Almighty, that may you bless and sanctify our offering, O oh Lord. Multiply it, Lord God Almighty, as you doing the work of your heart, Father. Remember and bless your children. In the name of Jesus, we we'll cover our glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, man. Thank God. Thank you for the for 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 the for the contribution. We thank God. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. So, our weekly announcement. Our weekly announcement remains the same. Mondays, Tuesdays, and a Thursday at a 1 p.m. London time. Pray without season. Please, if you have time, just die the, uh, our um, 
Zoom ID. Come and join us. Let's us pray together. Amen. Tuesdays and a Thursdays at a midnight London time, midnight prayers. Oh, uh, godly children in Christ. Saturday at a 6 p.m. London time. So bring your children, let them come and learn the word of the Lord. God will reward you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Mondays a Bible study twice in a month at 8 p.m. at 8 p.m. London time. So virtual summer time twice in a month. Hallelujah. Virtual summer time twice in a month on Mondays at 8 p.m. London time. Please join us. You will be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have questions, you can see contributes by the grace of God. Amen. Uh, weekly night, uh, weekly night uh, video every Friday at 11 p.m. London time. Please join us on, on this coming Friday by the grace of God. Sunday service at 4:30 p.m. We just this is our Sunday service. We thank God for God. Amen. Every first Sunday of each month, Holy Communion. As Father Lord Jesus Christ said, we should do it in remembrance of him. Hallelujah. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So every first week of the month, we may have a fasting and a prayer to dedicate the month into God's hand. Please prepare for the next month by the grace of God to join us. Unmovable must be moving, shakeable must be shaking in Jesus' name. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. This is the announcement for the week. So I will call upon the servant of God for the benediction. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Let us pray in Jesus' name. King of glory, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word, O oh Lord, Father, that you have for us today. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, because you say in the book of Revelation that for whom you love your book. Father, thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, for correcting us, O oh Lord, Father, to your word. Father, anyway, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, we are guilty. Father, have mercy. We ask for your mercy in the name of Jesus. As you reminded us again through your word that you should seek those things that last forever. Father, give us the grace, O oh Lord, Father, to continue to seek, to seek, to do your will in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, not to follow those things that will perish in the name of Jesus. Father, let you be always be number one in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let heaven, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, always be our focus in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever we do, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, let us put this set our affection, O oh Lord, Father, in the things of heaven, O oh Lord, Father, that will not perish, that the enemy will not steal it away from us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, give us the grace, O oh Lord, Father, to work out our salvation day by day, O oh Lord, Father, to correct the mistake in our life, to amend our ways so that on that day, we will not miss it, O oh Lord, Father, we will not labor in vain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. On our Father, Lord Jesus, Father, open the eyes of our brethren, those that is still in the position of the multitude, O oh Lord. Father, those that are still thinking that, O oh Lord, Father, the holiness, the, the, the message of salvation is a hard saying. Father, open their eyes, O oh Lord, Father, to understand, O oh Lord, Father, there is no any other gate that they will make it to heaven, but except through our Lord Jesus Christ but except by eating the bread of life, except by drinking the blood of our Lord Jesus. Father, let them all Father, to accept the message of salvation, the message of holiness and righteousness. Open their eyes. Father, take them out of that bondage of the worldliness in the name of Jesus. I take them of that prison that the enemy is using to promote pollution in the body of Christ. Father, deliver them, set them free in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as you are here the, today's message, Father, give us the grace to not to be the hearer only, but to be also the doer of it, to put it in practice. Father, as we repent, O oh Lord, Father, give us the grace, O oh Lord, Father, to be converted, for, to be converted, O oh Lord, Father, to be the one that our name will be found in the book of life on that day in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for today. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. As we are living soon, we are not living your presence, O oh Lord, Father. Continue to talk to us, Holy Spirit. Continue to lead us, Father. Continue to bring in remembrance every word of God that you are reading so that you'll be able to put it in practice in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us share the grace and fellowship.
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. For surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. A few seconds silence, please. Amen. God bless you all. Shalom. And God bless you all.